because it involves a certain amount of showmanship. Parker's showmanship, Elvis's showmanship, and Baz as a director has those unique gifts as well. So, uh, plus the musical element. This is a, uh, um, a, a director who is deeply involved in uh, the music recording industry and, and uh, uh, performing artists and, uh, and ideas about how to, how to recreate and rediscover uh, the music of that period and to put it out there in a way as if people never heard it before. Tom ha was just uh, finishing a performance of uh, playing Falstaff in a production of Henry IV. Lent some real strong credibility to the idea of him playing a character that was duplicitous and lying and, and, and manipulating and but yet lovable at the same time and sort of looking after his his charge, uh, you know, Hal in the case of Falstaff, but in our case, uh, Elvis, uh, that we you, somehow he would be able to manifest all those qualities that make him of a questionable character, but lovable character, well-meaning in some cases, but self-serving always. Uh, it's a really tough rope to uh, tight rope to walk but he um, anyway very few people I think could do it as well as him uh, so I don't think it was an obvious choice but uh, I certainly feel like we got it right and uh, Baz and CM take great pride in making sure that every one of those uh, background players uh, could appear in a in a close-up shot and carry the day and it's 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 a it's an interesting process first of all they communicate that to the to the background players as well they make every one of them feel like their role is important and uh, and that uh, there's a backstory to who you are why you're here what attracts you to Elvis what your feelings are about the people on your right and on your left and uh, it um, it's an important part of their process, and uh, it certainly reflects itself in the in in the look of those audiences, and and the hair and the costumes. The performance that Austin delivered as Elvis on stage was, I think, beyond beyond expectation. Even though we all had high expectations, uh, and. You know, the other part of waiting through this, this COVID period, this shutdown, this hiatus period, one of the other great concerns is that we knew that Austin was, was preparing himself with, in great detail and, and with great discipline. And you felt like this was, this was uh, an Olympian athlete ready for his, for his, his uh, comp you know, the big event. And all of a sudden it's delayed and you, you have this fear that it, all that energy, all that momentum is going to somehow be lost and dissipate. And, and so as we got back into it in September, he only got better. 